Tomasa Bua. Uh, thank you oh so much for joining us. Oh my goodness. I'm also happy to be here. It's a pleasure. Yeah, you're yes. Um, no, no pressure here, being uh -huh. the first uh, female. But, yes. Um, oh. You, Thanks you, for you do me. justice. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's begin with the punch. No automatic ticket for anyone in 2019. Uh, APC is saying that, of course, uh, uh, Okorocha is saying Buhari must go through primaries. And uh, President running Chop I Chop government, that's Fayoshe of the PDP speaking. Omasa, what do you think about this one? Well, um, <laughs> you know, uh, we've come to a time in our policy whereby. Mm. A lot of times we, we, we have the mindset of that we've moved forward. You know, things are not like how it was, you know, like in 1999 mm. or, you know, when democracy, so to speak, came on board. So, yes, let it be an open field for everybody. Mm. It's not as if anybody should um, have the advantage. Mm. Because, and, and we're always saying that, look, uh, it's the time for the youths. You know, okay, so well, that's another matter in time. Yeah, right. but what, what I want to blend into <laughs> yes. it is like, it, it's like, give the field open to anybody mm -hmm, of, mm -hmm. of any age, not of just course, the we same hear old set of Well, speaking of same old, same mm -hmm. old, uh, we hear that Atiku uh, has declared, we don't know if it's fake news. <laughs> now, that's a, 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 another phrase that's found its way into yes. the dictionary. Mm -hmm. We don't know how, the, you know, the position it's of that. Now, half-naked uh, Benue women show support for anti-grazing law. Of course, uh, the governor of uh, Benue State, State uh, yeah. Suswam, has just come out with anti-grazing law. The issue has been, um, you know, a major but one uh, for a while now. Uh, it's a good one, you know. And um, but the thing is, how will it be implemented? Because mm. the protest was due to the fact that, as it came out yesterday, one person was um, killed mm -hmm. and um, several others injured, including mm. a 70 something year old. You know, these are the women that lose their husbands, mm. they lose their children. Yes. True. We don't know who these people are. You, we don't know if they're herdsmen, mm -hmm. whatever part of the country they're from. We of course, don't know most of the time they are described as unknown gunmen. Yeah, of course, the governor is on top, not so. Not yeah, sorry, I said, yeah. <laughs> 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 that was gonna, that yeah, was you know, so. My um, bad. Mm. Yeah, so um, it, it's good because, you know, when, when women stand up for mm. a cause, yeah. and not only did they stand up, they came out um, uh, half new. Uh, that's a very so dangerous turn of events, really, if you ask me. Mm. Yes. Okay, now what our daughter told us before the, her controversial suicide, parents of OU undergraduate, uh, Mercy, the 16-year-old girl who was reported to have committed suicide mm -hmm. and because she failed a 100-level uh, exactly. compulsory course. Uh, Okay, chemistry 101 or something? Chemistry or something like that. Mm. All right, let's go to yeah. the next uh, paper this time, and that's the, the Nation newspaper. And the, first, the, the major headline on the page is EFCC raises panel to grill ex-SGF Lawal, seven others, and with a rider. So swam quizzed over 23 billion poll bribe scandal. Uh, uh, a lot is happening, and the EFCC has raised a five mm. member uh, panel to look into the allegations leveled against the ex SGF. Mm -hmm. And they are posing eight questions to him to answer effectively. If not, this will go back. No, there should here. be more, more than eight <laughs> questions. Mm -hmm. You know, so because we're always saying um, it, another. Uh, how do I put it, a uh, proverb or phrase, mm. you know, that this government is very slow. It took a minute for this to come, mm. you know, to fruition, and we're happy to know that it has been handed over to the anti-graft agencies. agencies. Mm. Now, what we don't want is another media trial uh, case, okay. uh, you know, or yeah. media, another media trial. That will not go anywhere. It will not go anywhere. Mm. We want a conviction, mm. you know. I, I don't like to use the word scapegoat because mm. that connotes somebody that probably didn't do anything wrong and but still was has to pay. But then, yeah. but then yeah. the presidential panel set up, uh, headed by the vice president, uh, presented a report uh, and made recommendations and the, the president said he went by the recommendations to remove uh, uh, Lawal yes. from office. So going by that, and that could even serve as evidence. Well, uh, uh, of course, but, but we don't know what is in exactly. that report. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the last time I checked, we had freedom of information. So I don't know why everything and is that's shrouded. in secrecy. Yes. Yeah. yeah of well, let's go to another. I've been yeah. asking for the uh, details of that report and recommendations. Yeah. For Nigerians generally have been calling for that open, anyway. Yeah. All right, now let's uh, go to the top uh, uh, down let's go to the down part of the, of the paper. It says police arrest uh, IPA leaflet sprinters. Mm. Uh, residents urged to ignore saboteurs as search begins for mastermind. Yes, uh, 
the whereabouts of the leader of IPOB, Namdi Kandu, <laughs> is not known. Uh, somehow, IPOB is no longer as uh, emboldened as before. Was yes, the group is still talking, even if it's not loud, but it's still talking. Now, the police have made a major arrest, and they were able to locate eventually the printer of all uh, IPOB. Mm, all that, yes. uh, paraphernalia, mm, propaganda. No, yes. But you know, like what you said just now, it's interesting how it's now a whisper. You know, because it was like the country was almost on the verge of a civil war with yeah. regards to IPOB and, mm -hmm. you know, how they went about what they were requesting for. But a good question you asked is, where is Namdekano? Where is Namdekano? That's like a question everybody's mm -hmm. asking. Nobody seems to have answers for that. <laughs> and speaking of, uh, you know, IPOB, uh, from the Daily Sun, a uh, UN team meets Ohaneze insists on one Nigeria. Of course, the UN team have been, they've been praising um, or Haneze, or, you know, about the way they handled the whole IPOB episode. Mm. And they're still emphasizing the need for Nigeria, of course, to remain uh, one. one nation. How well, important really is this visit? It's important because um, remember, on the other hand, even mm. though the UN is praising them, there were a lot of people that were like the Igbo leaders, the Igbo leaders mm. in general, in, of course, or Haneze, were not vocal enough did not put Namdi Kanu in place, you know, when yeah. they should have um, spoken out. So if they're a bit more involved now, it's, mm. it's, it's a good sign, mm. you know, because like you said, the unity mm. of this country is, is, is non-negotiable. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, well, to well, just to, to re echo, non -non just to re echo means, what okay. some have been saying. All right, let's <laughs> go to the background. No, no, we're not done yet. Uh, the Daily Sun, finally, Buhari will get massive Igbo votes, says uh, Oji Kalo. Uh, it's Kalu that's saying that. Yeah. I needed to throw that in. Yeah, yeah but okay. We'll be able to give it <laughs> any, any analysis. Yeah, some time. Go Let's ahead. go to the okay. Vanguard newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, the major story here says uh, Buhari Dambazao meet over Maina. Maina issue is becoming mm. like a sore thumb on the, on the hand of the, the uh, present administration. Uh, what do you think? Though what the president discussed with them uh, has not been made known. Another shrouded in, in secrecy, mm -hmm. although on, in this instance it's an, it's an ongoing investigation so to speak but another where is Mena? Mm -hmm. his public relations um, person came mm -hmm. out the other day yeah. on a sister t a tv yeah. station and another you know and was saying you know um, different things that his principal had said as far as i'm concerned that's an accessory to the fact where is he mm. you know <laughs> if you can speak to him then that mm. means you are mm. aware of his, his whereabouts. whereabouts all right mm -hmm. uh, let's go to the another story atop the the masthead of vanguard buhari writes national assembly to mm. present 2018 appropriation bill on november the 7th now yeah the two chambers of, of the national assembly read uh, the letter by the president but mm. inter somehow interestingly members of the house of representatives started shouting no yeah they've been kicking no, against they were asking it. questions yes. what happened what is it happening to the 2017 budget has it been fully implemented, implemented. yes mm -hmm. there was a, a an opera you know and it took everything within the leaders um, power to mm -hmm. you know settle the house down yeah. the budget the 2017 budget as far as we know has what 30 percent been implemented or based oh, on if what not uh, less than that less than that based on what um, the minister of finance said the yes. other day and then we're going to borrow so much mm -hmm. you know to implement this you know to implement it so to speak yeah. another 5.5 billion billions, dollars yes and then they told us monies that have been oh. gotten from all this uh, okay uh, uh, from uh, from so finally yeah. from this day buhari mm -hmm. to late 2018 budget tuesday senate says december passage uh, target unrealistic and they're saying that the MTEF, that's the medium term, uh, you know, and all of that, must mm. be treated before appropriation bill. Mm. Uh, okay, that's that's all for this morning. No, we'll have to leave it there. Okay, FG's uh, revenue, FG's and, revenue and, debt and debt strategy to cut, to debt, cut service. debt service cost by 168 billion uh, naira. But of course, uh, Nigerians too have been reacting to the 5.5. Uh, billion that the government wants. Want, yes. She is saying that look, it's not even going to increase Nigeria's debt profile, and uh, as a matter of fact, the private sector would be the greatest beneficiary of this. All one. right, see your reaction. Well, my reaction to all of this big English, you know, <laughs> let me talk as the Bring common it man I on guess. the street. Bring mm. it home. Mm. The economy feels like it's at a standstill. Mm. People are losing their jobs. Things are still expensive in the market. Because the There's country just uh, practically crawled out of recession. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> we would like to translate all this onto how you know there's no middle class anymore. Mm. Ah, so how the average yes, yeah, so how class. the average man on the street can patch life, True. and that's a phrase they use. Mm. Mm. And at the end of the you day, know, you understand. The Roads are bad, mm. and all we hear them saying is we want to borrow five point something billion for infrastructure. Mm. We need to invest in human capital development. All right, okay. thank you very much, uh, Masambua, a uh, newspaper analyst today. Thank mm. you very much uh, for doing Thanks a quick job on the really? analysis. <laughs> did, did I pass? Yeah, you, you did well. Ninety-eight point nine 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 percent. Thanks for having me. <laughs> thank you so much.